All right, YouTube. <clears throat> Press F. All right, so we're going to play a version of this deck that Magnus Lantos played at Pro Tour 25. He was a big Death Shadow player for a long time, so we're going to give his list the world. Leans on Ley Lines and Key Res with no flutings, so we're, gonna, we're just going to check everything out and give a new version a try. So let's jump into a league. Competitive Modern League, Details... Uh, join the league. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get a good showing here. So I'm not a huge Kira fan. And... What I always found in these fair decks is that they're like you have a fifth delve card. They're bringing in so much graveyard hate, anyways, that I don't know how good it actually, like the delve, the tasker actually is. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. This hand's not great because we don't have like we don't have blue mana and we don't have a threat, but we do have a lot of disruption. It's not bad against Celestial Colonnade. Take a look. Take the only card we can take. How can you keep hands like that? I just do not want to play a deck in modern that you can just keep five lands, two spells, and a like a five drop. Like get that shit out of here. Alright, let's play another colonnade. I mean, it might be enough here. We're not doing anything. We're trying to clear out some resource here so that if we hit um so they can't like counter spell this, they draw a logic knot. We definitely need some gas here. That's not gas. I am probably gonna bolt them so that I have an instant in my graveyard to flash back. Maybe they'll field us and fix our mana for us. That'll be sweet. And get rid of this draw step stop. <clears throat> they're gonna field me at the end of the turn, then I'll just flash in the Snapcaster Mage and bolt them. But we're definitely getting a little punished for our keep. It looks like our opponents caught on to it as well. Alright. One day, Death Shadow. One day it'll be your time to shine. Maybe now. Oh, they just bounced my land to my hand. I thought they were field ruining me. All right. Well, at least we get to play Shadow next turn. I guess Magnus posted a sideboard guide here as well, so I can check that out while we're playing. Electrolyze. That's interesting. Why are they electrolyzing me on their main phase? 
We just want to hit land drops that bad. All right, we're doing it. It's a pretty sweet draw, and the fact that if we if we fetch for something, it's we're gonna have stubborn denial going on. <laughs> Excuse me. I think he he didn't want me to uh, have blue mana. That's what he was. He was holding. We could see he was holding off on that for a while. <clears throat> Dude, that DiGiorno's pizza was good. That was some good pizza. If they just fire up this colonnade here, this is really good for us. Like, if this is their whole turn... Okay, they're just going to verdict this thing. I think I have to restart Moto. Yeah, I definitely have to restart Moto. So let's get a Watery Grave and Thought Scour ourselves. We do have to be weary of both of these Field of Ruins, or both of these Colonnades, but we're also not going to win the game sitting back on our heels. We don't want to scald in turn. Um, I think we're going to get a tap land here. I'm not really interested in flashing in this. Well, if my opponent does nothing, maybe it's worth flashing the Snapcaster Mage in. I do want to fetch. I don't really want to fetch a uh, whatever it is either. Uh, basic. I think we're going to put it into play tapped. I think it's greedy to not do that. Because, like, snapcastering back a faithless or uh, like a thought scour is pretty low impact. <clears throat> if he fields me and gives me mana, then I will do that. But I'm not really excited about that prospect. So, one, two, three, four. So, he can animate colonnade while having something like logic knot up, too. Hopefully this isn't a search. Search is really tough to beat. What do you got, man? You got a counter spell. <clears throat> what do we have in our graveyard? We definitely need a big boy. I think Magnus played one K command in his deck. I didn't even I didn't really look too too much at the list. I just kind of grabbed it. Yeah, we're just gonna let this go. He does have one K command in the main deck, so <clears throat> I 
Casting this Thought Seize is so dangerous. Cycling this Tree Wraith is so dangerous. Well, we gotta find something here. We gotta find some action. All right, Inquisition's not awful. We have to stub a burn spell here in order to be able to deal with this colonnade. It's your last card, pass. So it's the same thing either way. We're, we're going to two no matter what here. we got to deal with this colonnade. And then we just have to hope that we hit like a Death Shadow ASAP. We're sitting my computer glass sore. My eyes are starting to get sore. All right, we're getting colonnaded. All right, bolt me. Oh, wow. Ghost core, okay. I would not like to use Ghost Core's ability. All right, Death Shadow. Tilt. All right, we're just gonna pass this. Probably go snap thought scour at the end of his turn. Just have to do something. Or we're just going for it. I mean, we're not beating anything at this point. Thought scour. All right, we hit a thought seize. That's great. Should have fetched. That was stupid. It kind of works out because we hit this bobble, but I still should have fetched. Let's get our beats on with a little snap dad. So they've either hit a brick or a path, I think. Fairly certain they would have cast everything else. This is the bobble. Uh, we'll just get another blood crypt. How much really red spells do we have? Team of Battle Wage would be really good, so I don't want to get... Or not Team of Battle Wage, Call on Command, so I don't really don't want to get fielded off of that. Looting would, wouldn't be bad here, yep. <clears throat> They're digging. So all these Jeskai decks that are playing op now, that just seems so poor to me. I would opt for a better plan. That's what I would do. Okay, so they're drawing a Snapcaster Mage, which I can't I can't beat a Snapcaster Mage because I can't stub anything. Yeah, so we're just dead. Alright, let me sideboard and then restart Moto. Sideboard, get into the next match, and then we're gonna just or get into the next thing we're gonna restart. So let's oh, let's see what, how Magnus cyborg here. Tan trips, two main deck, play line of war, and two task for the controller. Okay, human, UW just guy brings in two stubs, one disdainful stroke, two Kira, cuts two battle rages, three lightning bolts. One fatal push. And the tasker. Okay, submit. Um, we're going to let this go through, 
And then once this goes through, I'm going to tell my opponent I'm going to restart, then just make sure my sideboarding works. I'm just going with what he sideboarded. The, the Magnus posted a sideboard guy on Twitter. I'm just going like 100% with that. Okay, let's put the sponsorship page up here. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Um, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Carter Hoarder Network. If you guys like what you see, hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button. And then, depending on wherever you are, go to the other one and do that as well. Um, if you want to check me out on Twitter, that's linked below on both. Um, this stream is sponsored by Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain in the business. So you should check them out for your motor needs. And if you have single needs, you should check out Gamer Craze. It's where I learned to play Magic. They're a small store in upstate New York. They have competitive prices because they foster a college environment. I have their, um, I have their Crystal Commerce linked below, so you should check them out for any paper. Oh, I muted it. I wonder if I muted it for the plug. LOL. All right, let's go get Watery Grave. I'm going to Serum Visions first because I know, well, I know what I'm looking for from the Serum Visions. So, okay, so that's what we wanted. Um, we probably can put this Snapcaster. No, we'll probably want this on top. I just want both of these. We'll just kind of play it slow and lead off with the Kira next turn. You heard the plug. Nice. Glad I did something right. All right. We're just going to take this search. And then, like, this Kira is going to be sweet. I've been a little bit of a hater on Kira. Like... You know, I can take it or leave it. I don't believe. Play the little, play the spirit.
they're opting for a good time. This is great because if they go to like, if they deal with this, then the Gurmag Angler is gonna gonna do well for us. They deal with the Gurmag Angler, they still have to deal with this thing. If they field me here, then I can thought scour. They're not gonna do that. So I actually think I'm gonna lead with the Snapcaster. I'm gonna attack first, and I think I'm just gonna snap Thoughtseize. I don't want to run face first into Verdict when we're so set up, and. If if we do if we go with the snap thought sees they might just go double path here. I gotta run to the bathroom. I will be right back. All right. All right, we're back. 
So this comes in. We're going to target Thoughtseize. If he double paths my Kira, then whatever. If we got, you know, a three for one because we're going to get a land. Though they're going to kill one of them with the Stone Rain, so it's not super value. Okay, so they're just going to opt. Let's play quickly now. Down so much time. I have to add some lights too. We're get, it's getting dark in here. Wow, so they're just going to ditch. They're just not going to be able to kill this Kira at all. I'm going to turn my lights on while my opponent ops. The next turn, we're going to play Gurmag Angler and get serious. <coughs> Draw step. What are they doing? Oh, they're going to. Okay. So I can go snap serum visions and play Gurmag Angler. No, I can't actually do that. So let's just float a mana. Let's thought scour ourselves in our draw step. <clears throat> All right. So let's swing in with both of these. And now I think I'm going to go Snap Serum Visions. I really just don't want to commit this Gurmag Angler. Like I don't really see how they're going to deal with it, but maybe that's just me being too passive and I should just do it anyways. All right, so we have another we have a death shadow coming. So let's just let's just commit the angler. Turn the heat on. It's gonna be ferocious too, so it's gonna come with a stub. I'm trying to get my sideboard worked out before the Baltimore Open. I want to know how you felt about something like Radiant Flames over Kozlex. I don't like Kozlex Return there. If you're going to play one of those, I like Radiant Flames or Anger because it deals with three. Yeah, I, I think you should have, I don't know, like I, I would probably play two Sweepers, and I'm playing Engineered Explosives at the moment. So now I'm definitely not committing this. Definitely not committing this shadow until they answer the board. Oh, there's some commotion going on outside my house. I got sirens everywhere. Vendelian click. Okay. This is awful. For my opponent. Absolutely awful. They should have done this if I attacked. Yeah, I went down to one of Braid. I think I added... I think I added a... I cut it for a Fatal Push. Because the place where I play at has a lot of Tarmogoyfs. A lot of Garmatoys. This is just an absolute... This is awful. For my opponent. Like, just try to eat the Kira in combat, dude. Wow. All right, well, 
Let's play this. Return target creature. Shock this thing. That was a that was a decent hit. Let me tell you what. That was a good replacement. Again, I mean that wouldn't that wouldn't have happened if my opponent hadn't done the boneheaded play they did. What do you believe is the top three decks uh, in team team format? What do you mean? Do you mean like if anybody can play their home decks, or are you talking about unified gifts and given? Yeah, I would agree. I am the savior, and they should have tried to flash that in in combat to try to deal with Kira. Like, yes, I got. I mean, team trios. So you mean like one for standard, modern, and legacy? Yeah, I think 17 lands without Serum Visions is awful. Like I think Serum Visions like really makes the deck. Serum Visions is very good. So my opponent's dead. I should have fetched. So we can go stub, snap, stub. I guess I kind of just want to attack with these two. I don't want to offer up. The problem is if I offer up my Kira, he clicks and blocks, then he's still dead through two counter spells. So I guess he can go like play Snapcaster Mage and chump this. But then if I had a head my head out of my ass, I would have just gone Snap Colagon's Command and gotten it. If I was going to play Team Trios, I would play like, I don't know, that's, that's a tough question. But for Modern, I would play the, Brench, the Bridgevine deck, Grixis Shadow, KCI, or Tron. Or humans, one of those five. In standard, I would play the the Nexus of Fate deck or Red Black. <clears throat> um, in Legacy, I don't know. I would just play something that's aggressive. It just plays good cards. Probably like the Death Shadow deck. Other ladies, Death Shadow deck looks pretty good. All right, we will keep this hand. We've got double angler, which is awkward, but we should be able to fuel our graveyard pretty quickly. Yeah, I think the Vengevite deck's better than Hollow One. It's just a faster version. A discard spell? No, we don't want that. I'm going to hold this Street Wraith for one more turn because we can use our mana. If they play something like a search for Azkanta, then I'll try and stub it. But because <clears throat> search for Azkanta is one of the harder cards to deal with in this matchup. God, I can't believe these control decks are playing opt. That card is so bad. This card is awful. Don't ever put this card in your Death Shadow decks. Unless you want to play like supplement it. You know what I mean? If you want to play it with Serum Visions and Faithless Looting and Thought Scour, then sure. Man, we drew a land. What a tilt. <clears throat> to find out more. Ugh. That card is almost impossible to beat. All right, well, K-Command is a good way to start the beat train. So I'm just going to play two threats. One does get lightning bolted, but I think it's correct for my opponent to board out most of their discard or most of their burn spells. And we really just cannot mess around against this search. To fairy. That's a problem. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to leave this thought scour because we might need to fuel this thing back up. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I think Vengevine is just like a, a better Hollow One deck, in my opinion. It's just faster. It's less variants. Uh, I guess maybe, maybe not less variants. I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> so they put uh, Teferi in their graveyard. So here's your last hand that could be blown out by the next man in small tweaks. So it's great. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, one or two. I, I don't really know, to tell you the truth, Doctor. They field me here. Oh, they electrolyzed. They had it. Electrolyzed is a big blowout. All right, Stubbs Dees. We're definitely attacking. We're probably going to Thought Scour and play Gurmag Angler. And leave up Stubborn Denial. Because it's like lethal. And they need to have a Wrath. And we have a K Command to follow up with. Well, I guess now I can check it out. I think we're just going to make him have it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, the problem with making it have it here is that we're going to check it out first. So you know they don't have this Teferi. They have a click. If my opponent bounces this on their own turn, that's okay. Because that means we're getting in. Bounces one of these on their own turn. That means we're getting in for damage. Um, we're getting in for damage. Uh, and, like, we're pressuring our opponent. <clears throat> and we, it's not like if they bounce Gurmag Angler, it's not like we don't have any good follow-ups. And if they wait, then we're going to kill them. Likely. Unless they drew Dispel. <clears throat> so they did they play the mountain. So they they rip a verdict. No, they're gonna play secure. That's a good play. Secure's decent from our opponent here. We're just not going to do anything. I'm not in a hurry. I have this stubborn denial. If they K command me, I can return the shadow. If they, if they if they deal with my if they wrath the board, I can return shadow, then have stubborn denial up again. So I'm not I'm not really in a big hurry here. There's their colonnade. Jeez. Drawn well.
Yeah, I think that I, I think I'm far enough ahead where I just don't want to get <clears throat> Supreme Verdicted out of this game and have nothing to follow up with. So use their cryptic. And I use that so that instead of the stubborn denial, so that I could like stub a path or something like that. It's more mana efficient to go like stub plus K command, but I would like to just trade with my specific counter spell when it trades. <clears throat> now my opponent is Dobbs. <clears throat> Bolt me. Okay. You know, fire that colony up and come at me. Your your last card's flooded strand. That's such a bad play from our opponent. Like, why wouldn't you just double block, take five, and bolt a Gurmag Angler? Like, yeah, you get blown out, but it's it's much better than just bolting me. Now your bolt does nothing. Because you have to literally draw a removal spell and hope to get here with this colonnade in order to have a chance. That was very poor, in my opinion. Oh, we drew a stub too. Holy shit. We we've had a couple nice draw steps here. What do we got? We got colonnade time. Dealing click. I think it just wins us the game. Uh, return to our creature from the graveyard. Good night, Irene. <coughs> Still got all these. All right, we had a we had two pretty nice draws there right at the end of that game, though. What you know about my computer glasses? My eyes are starting to get sore. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to take a lap try to find those. Yeah. Found them. Let's join the match here. <coughs> I don't know, man. We'll keep this one. <coughs> Probably have to scry a land on top, then try not to stub something. On the bottom. <coughs> well, now I can stub anything. <coughs> Jeez. We're playing against Affinity. Rot Row. Oh, we're playing against the Hardened Scales deck. All right, boys and girls, let's get aggressive. Fetch land. Right here, fetch land. Pew. We dead. Let me get some water. <clears throat> oh, they're helping me out. Though that hangerback walker is a card I just cannot beat. Oh, 
take this stop off here. <clears throat> All right, let's take this. So we have an apostle's blessing, which doesn't really matter. We should be able to stub our way around that. Good draw, especially in conjunction with the, um, in conjunction with the, whatever it is, the apostles' blessing that I was just shitting on. Basically, battle rage. We're going to look to block out for a turn, and then <clears throat> hopefully in our next two or three draw steps, find a Battle Rage. Walky boy. Lucky boy. <clears throat> right, counters on everything. You got it. Now we can only go to down two. Yeah, I got it. They got it. All right, let's sideboard. <clears throat> so this Kozak's like turn's got to be good. This is got to be good. And these have to be good, and probably the rejections. <clears throat> Cards I'm not in love with. Stubborn Denial. Probably not great. Um, Gurmag Angler is probably fine. I don't think Snapcaster Mage is very good. I wonder if he's got a Hardened Scales. Three thought seizes and two stubborn denials. And he doesn't bring in the EE. Huh. Doesn't bring in the EE. I'm gonna I'm gonna go because this is hardened scales. I'm gonna go with the EE is probably fine. Because you can hit hardened scales itself. So his hand's got Battle Rage, which is really important, and it's got Engineered Explosives, which is going to be pretty good. I'm going to keep this hand, but like if it goes south, it's my fault. We're basically playing ourselves into a dangerous place here. All right, that's a turn one play, so I think we're going to take it. I think he's going to buy us some time. Yeah, I'm just taking this Mox Opal. We're going to slow him down. All right. There's Nasty Germasty. And we can now play it. Ink Moth. <clears throat> so 
Just hope they miss their land drop and we'll be in good shape. Alright, they didn't. Steel Overseer. That is going to be an issue. Might not be. The, the battle rages aren't going to work. We have to just attack and then just play engineered explosives on two. Blue, red. Ooh, that hardened scales. Like I should have put it on one. I knew this hardened scales was coming down. And now they're going to get, yeah, we're so dead. I think it's four counters. That's a big ballista. Yeah, I misplayed here pretty poorly. Shattered discard. And then I'm dead on the crackback, so I have to kill this. I can go Shatter Shock. Shock my opponent. But then I'm also dead because he just deals four damage to me and I have, I have to block. So let's just go... Yeah, I played this very poorly, and it's going to cost me. Because now, like, this creature trades with my Gurmag Angler. Yeah, I did not play this very well. <clears throat> A shadow can still get me there, though. Ravager. Okay. So that just kills me on the spot, right? Because they just go sack, sack, move over here. And then we did. Yep, yep. I, I played that. That was my fault. That was my fault. I'm getting a little tired, so I'm making a couple mistakes. But we'll finish up here. This will be the last league of the night. We've got about three more matches. Hopefully we can win them out. Get our 4-1. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. <clears throat> Y'all are great. Y'all are great. Okay. So our man is going to be pretty taken up for the next couple turns. So I think I'm going to cycle this street right now. Well, so I'm going to go one, two. No, I guess we can wait. Because we're, we're going to go Thought Scour, Thought Scour, Gurmag Angler. Man, there are too many Flooded Strands in Modern right now. The Flooded Strand count is too damn high. Ugh. Yield until next time slot.
All right. Leave a thought scour in there. Get the Gurmag down. Don't kill it. Don't kill it, you jerk. Killed it. He killed it. Um, let's get Island. Oh, he's got one land. Really? All right, let's cycle here. All right, let's see if we can f put the... Put the smack down on this. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take this opt and then we're going for it. I smell blood and we are going for the kill. I can't believe they would keep this hand. It's such a bad keep. In my opinion. <clears throat> right, so they drew the field. So that's definitely going to shut the door. So we just take this detention sphere. They just scoop it up now. Crack my opponent for nine. And then just play Shadow and Angler. And I don't think they have a draw. Because even like, I guess Snapcaster Mage gives them another turn. No, it doesn't even do it because they can't cast anything out of their graveyard. Because they had double Field of Ruin. My opponent does not have a draw. We got the check mark, ladies and gentlemen. That hardened scales affinity deck is hard to beat. I like I just keep getting beat up by that one. All right, so let's see how Magnus sides against blue white. U dub slash chess guy. Two stubs. Uh, one stroke. One tasker. Cuts. Three lightning bolts. One push. And two dismembers. My deck makes people so angry that I got it in IRL, and my friend and I borrowed from two comic shops. Well, that's not great. Opponent Mulligan, sweet. We're going to discard spell them. They put a card on the bottom also. So we got the threats. We're going to be able to play a delve card on two. So that is good. They have a Lyra. Okay. So we got to find some way to deal with this Lyra. We have two dismembers in our deck. So we drew Colonnade. Oh, to a giant. Okay. Yeah, I don't know a lot about that format, to tell you the truth. Play this, delve the whole graveyard. 
I hope they don't answer it. We slam Akira next turn, and then we just start foreign them. If they field me, it's just going to help me cast okay, an Ancestral. Take a look at what they're drawing. Drawing to fairy. Card doesn't really matter at this moment. Like the Lyra, like both five drops are really good. I can imagine. <clears throat> All right, Thought Scar is going to get us another Delve card in play. So they're going to be able to Bane Slayer Angel me, which is not good. Wow, that's a sick draw. So basically, we're going to make it. We're going to call him here. And we're going to be like, did you draw a Wrath? If you didn't, you're dead. If you did, then we got didn't, then we got you. How big's my shadow gonna be? Five. I guess I can get away not committing the shadow. Which is gonna be good for us. Get this island. All right, no wrath one time. Snapcaster mages and out. Well, I guess the, like it's just wrath because they're gonna play Lyra no matter what. If I had to guess, I don't think that there's any other. They just not have a planes. What? I swore they had a planes. I guess I missed something. All right. Didn't they have this planes? I swear to God. I thought we had perfect information. Yeah, they literally had the planes. They didn't play it. That blows my mind. Okay. They just like didn't play their Lyra, which is odd. Or the planes. That's odd. All right, we got you. Get that thing out of here. All right. Well, we beat two control decks tonight. That always makes me feel all nice and warm inside. I love beating control decks. It is one of my favorite pastimes. I appreciate everybody for hanging out here tonight. Um, if you're new, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. You should give me a follow on the way out. It's the best way to see my content, have other people see my content. Uh, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, head on over to Twitch. Same thing with Twitch. Go to YouTube. All that stuff is linked below on the descriptions. If you want to talk magic with me, check me out on Twitter. I tweet often. I tweet about magic, beer, and my dog. So those are all three awesome topics. So you should check that out. Um... Card Hoarder sponsors the stream. They are the best bot chain in the business. You should check them out for all of your Magic Online needs. And Gamer Craze is a store where I learned to play Magic up in upstate New York. They foster a college environment, so they have really competitive pricing. I have their Crystal Commerce link below, so you should check them out. I refuse to support the stream. Refuse. You're so defiant, Andrew. Did you just jump back in?
All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna be able to get nasty here. What is going on here? All right, let's go fetch shot. <clears throat> Show me the goods. I'm playing against spirits. My hand does not line up against spirits. We're gonna take this path, and then hopefully this Gurmag angler just beats us home. My hand is not very good against spirits, though. It should get rough. Maybe my opponent will just miss their land drop. I can't even beat them if they miss their land drop, because they're just going to play, like, a bunch of dumb creatures. There's just a whole lot I can't win here. I also have to delve out my Snapcaster Mages, which sucks. I thought he's at least going to hit something. This is getting ourselves a basic. At least Gurmag Angler hits hard. That Selfless Spirit's also annoying because we're not going to be able to, like, um... Just attack, like, block the Geist with a Snapcaster. They're just going to jam this Geist. Yep. Need a Shadow. And a Battle Rage. Quickly. <clears throat> Alright, well, there's Battle Rage. So how do I win? I think how I win is we just flash a Snapcaster Mage in and attack with it. Like, like that's literally the game plan. <clears throat> Could have thought sees, I guess. Yeah, I think we just let this come in. We end step. Flash the Snapcaster Mage in, and then, like, hope that works. Oh, another red source would be sweet. Another red source would be great. Wow. Do you, do you got it, dude? Or you just do not give a shit about Battle Rage? Or do you got a spell card? I got a spell card or a path. Either of those is good. Yeah. Yeah, again, if we head... We had a second red land, we'd have got him. Yeah, lands was it was fun. I liked playing the deck. It's not my it's not what I'm pretty comfortable playing, but I, I had fun doing it. Okay, so we want to braid, we want all these. Let me see how he sideboarded against this. These the right spirits. The right band spirits in the sideboarding guide. Plus one, two, a braid. Plus one, close Lex return. I'm going to guess that he would have brought in his EEs. But I guess we can just pretend he doesn't have them. I'll go like this. 
Well, we should play with it if we've got it. I'm going to take out one more discard spell. That was unfortunate. That was an unfortunate turn of events. We'd like to play first. This hand is great. It's a very aggressive Death Shadow hand. But my opponent did not play into it, unfortunately. We would love to see a Noble Hierarch there. Noble Hierarch would have been really good. Code Life Return is also pretty great. Really hoping I get something to point this dismember out here because I just want I want to use my mana. This is going to turn on the Kozilex return too. And let's go get the Steam Vents. <coughs> Shoot. Play the wrong thing. Doesn't really matter. It's not like we could have played Gurmag Angler as well, but I did play the wrong land there. So mistake on my part. Nothing from the opponent's great. I'm just going to serve. Do as much damage as possible. <laughs> it's the, it's the deck. It's a deck. It's good. You gotta have a path, right? You're just going for the chump mode. I think we're we're not gonna allow this. Get out of my face. Especially considering now I can just I can still play angler, which is great. We can get nasty with Germasty. My opponent, my opponent is Dobbs. You get a good ruthless win in would be sweet. Send a message. Oh man, why gotta do that? Why do people insist on killing my Death Shadow? You know why do they gotta do that? Ooh, image the big boy. Thank good chat. <clears throat> this all took a turn for the worst. I think I'm gonna just trade. Like I could I could not block, but yeah, it, it's not humans explosive, but it is still pretty explosive. God. We are doing it. All right, we can deal with that one. We could wait on this, but I just don't want to get it spell quellered. There are not a lot of flying blockers modern. Yeah, I would agree with that. <clears throat> so 
It's been an unfortunate set of draws for the home team. Weir's getting beat up. Noble. So we got a Snapcaster. Kozlux return this. Fairly certain. Just, we don't need any of these. If Bane Slayer Angel does. <laughs> Bane Slayer Angel is a good block. I guess I could have gone Serum Visions again. And then dismember. Yeah, I messed this up. I should have gone Serum Visions again, then dismember the Self of Spirit. <clears throat> that would have been a better play. They keep the hierarch, so we just got. We're about to get like our face companyed off here. How sick would it be if we had a stub here? All right. Go team. That's not bad. We're going to do this on our main phase. We don't want to get spell colored. <laughs> if our next draw steps are like Death Shadow plus Battle Rage and our opponent doesn't do anything, we might be good. Baneslayer Angel should be played in every deck in Modern. I should just play Baneslayer Angel in my Shadow deck. Just side it in. Yeah, dude. It should be Grix's Shadow Splash Bane Slayer Angel. Angel. Ooh. Yeah, dude. I can be at like nine and then breach in my angel and attack and kill both my shadows. Alright, this thing is getting murked. <clears throat> Don't be a coward. The only thing that stops you from happiness is your own fears. You could be truly happy in this game and do anything you want. You just have to not be afraid. What is this? Worship. That card's going to be tough to beat. It's like flying old school martyr to hero Bob's and Emrakul. Yeah. I remember that deck. Oh my god, what a joke that was. Thought seeds. We can't win drawing thought seeds, so we're gonna fetch. We're gonna get ourselves an island and we're gonna pass. Flipping Emrakul off Bob. It's bold. Scoop it up. And, like, that's the same amount of draws no matter what. We could have given ourselves two draws versus one draw, but one of our draws was a blank. So when everybody in the comment section goes, why didn't you do that? I'm going to be like, it's the same difference no matter what as soon as we know that that top card is a dud. <coughs> it's worse hip. That's the second time I've gotten worshipped in the last, I don't know, couple weeks. I am tired. See if we can 3 2 the league. We'll open up some treasure chests. Everyone will be happy. Yeah, dude, I got I got hit by affinity like a week ago. I was just like, what the fuck is that? I can't beat that. I can't remove an enchantment. What do you think I am? Not Grixis?
Oh, dude. Oh. So we kept one of these earlier and it didn't really work out if I remember right. Oh, we will again. Keep this one. What are you taking? What are you taking? What are you taking? What are you taking? Put on top. All right, we're going to see our visions on one. We're going to try to hit our second land drop. <clears throat> I think the odds of us winning this match go down if we don't hit this land drop. I hate humans. Play humans or spirits? All right, we want both of these. <laughs> oh, burn, baby, burn, burn. And disco. Oh, man, we draw our polluted delta and can play the shadow. Oh, that is sick. Well, if you truly want to produce random people. <laughs> Archmage knows. Rest in peace, Sensei's Divine and Top. What are you going to do? Misstep it? Like, come on. Come on, man. Well, this would be a wanker. Oh, shit. We can play our Death Shadow. We can play our shadow. We can play our shadow. We can't bolt everything. <clears throat> All right, ready? My opponent's not going to hit a way to kill this shadow off the top, chat. This is not what's going to happen. I don't want to hear any of your negativity. They're not going to kill my death shadow. You're not going to kill my death shadow. They didn't kill the shadow. These. Okay. Oh, shit. I tapped the wrong land. Damn it. Tap the wrong land. We're going to hit a fetch land right here. You watch. Nope. Not smart enough for that. God, how sick would it be if we could have just, like, attack here? But we can't. Ooh. Not blocking, dude. I'm not going to do it. I promise. I take it. And then I'm going to go push bolt. Push this. Let's tap right, baby. All right. Let's not lose to Goblin Grenade because 
we have Battle Rage in our hand. All right, let's just take it slow. You know, let's just not get too antsy here. <clears throat> I could attack and then lose the Goblin Grenade. I feel like we're just not going to... We're going to try not to lose Goblin Grenade. We'll just try not to lose to that one. We have so much removal. If my opponent, like, spits out a bunch of creatures, then we, we know the coast is clear. We can just dismember them. Play something. See, this makes me a bit antsy. What are the odds my opponent hit, like... God, I am so not in the mood to play around anything tonight. Just bolt me. Just bolt me. Holy shit. Hit what? What do you mean, Andrew? Yes! Get out of my face! Alright, I'm assuming we want all of these. And we're going to cut... The stubs are actually these. We're just going to cut these street wraiths. Colgon screen's kind of slow. We can pour another stub for Goblin Grenade. Excuse me. I tuned your stream out for a second. <laughs> How dare you? <clears throat> Alright, we're going to mulligan. We don't have a threat. Well, this hand doesn't take as much damage. We have a threat. We got a death shadow. Check it and see. I got a fever of a hundred and three. Fanatical Firebrand. Alrighty. What a fanatic. What a fanatic. Busy shuffling up my base spirits, deciding between that and Abzan. Both are fully foiled. So even the losers at the table can swag me. <laughs> I am not in a friendly league. This is a this is a standard playable card. Alright. Yeah, everybody's good at something, Tannen. And this apparently is only it. I tried playing lands today, and that did not work out. I should turn my light on. All right, let's take I kind of just want to take this lava mancer. Oh. So I have to take this devastating summons next turn. Summons actually playing legacy right now. Nice. I have fun playing the deck. I'm not I'm not very good at it, but I like playing it. It's much different than anything else that I normally do. So that's kind of fun. So what am I doing here? This Lava Mancer is going to like peck away at my Death Shadow if I don't do anything. If they attack me for three, then I go three, fetch, then I take seven, eight, seven, eight, I take Devastating Summons. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this Lava Mancer and then hit them again next turn. I think that's my plan. <clears throat> Those decks are my jam legacy. Oh, you're like a Delver player. All right. Okay, we hit fetch land, which isn't good. Uh, what they play? They played this. 
this, and they're going to play the Bushwhacker? No, they're just going to, oh. Oh, they could have just devastated and summoned me right there. That was a mistake from me. So let's take the summonings. I mean, it's a Delver deck. Are, you talking, are we talking about lands, or are you talking about something else? I'm confused. I'm tired, so the, I, I could be just like, whew, could be going over my head. All right, let's get our, let's get the homeboy in play. Oh, Shadow. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to play Legacy at the SCG event in Baltimore at the end of the year, and I'll probably play Shadow. I'm going to have to buy a couple cards on Moto in order to get that and figure it all out. It just makes people play poorly also. Like when you have Death Shadow, people like, you can't race it. You know, people will like, people will just like, it's an added amount of stress. They got greedy. So it didn't work. I'm not going to block this Goblin guy because in the Firebrands. I, I could just take a two-for-one and play Gurmag Angler and be at 10, which kind of sounds nice. All right. I should have... This is poor sequencing. All right, looks like it's Bushwhacker. I am going to attack for six, fetch my basic, and then we're going to get nasty. <coughs> I love Gurmag Angler. Like, Gurmag Angler is, is, is honestly, it's probably a better threat against Faradex than Death Shadow is, because it's just much harder to kill. Like, it's so difficult. Like, the only things that kill it are, like, Path, Terminate, and Dismember. And there's just not as many of those running around the format. There's a lot of Paths right now, I guess. The Pro Tour was, like, full of Paths. What did your team play for Dex, Tannen, at the Pro Tour? You said you played Shadow. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming what, Brendan played Standard? That seems like his M.O. One, two, three, four. We're never snapping this back. Now, yeah, that's amazing. Like, you know, like, term, like, Tarmogoyf was the generic beater, you know? And then, and now it's just Gurmag Angler. So what are we doing here? If I attack, he chumps, shoots me down to six, swings down to four, activates, they take five. They're going to have to block potentially both of my creatures next turn. Yeah, so let's just serve. You played Stoneblade, Brennan played the Venge. Oh, you did? And Moss played Steely Stoppy. Okay. I remember you saying you played Stoneblade. Now that I remember that. I don't remember you. I don't remember. Um, you talking about the other guys. Vengevine seems not like what Brennan would want to do. But maybe that's just like the deck that he thought was the best chance to win. Not like pegging him or anything, but I mean, I pay attention to the tour. He tends to play a lot of fair decks. So now they have to block both of these next turns. So they have to peel something. And if it's a goblin grenade, I got that covered. So, like, theoretically, they're going to put me to four here, unless they hit a creature. Come on, dude. What are you doing? All right. So I guess this doesn't mean they're just dead. They block here. But that means this has to chump, which is good for us. Bolt, stub. So now we just have to fade a burn spell off the top. So that means I want to fetch. Like, the Death Shadow doesn't do anything, right? 
It's going to put me to one. I attack with both. Block. No, I want the shadow to block this goblin. Goblin guide. And now we just like cross the fingers and hope. Shoot me a two. They have a lot of they have a lot of top decks to kill me. I guess I didn't have to attack with the angler. And then I could have beaten a second goblin guide off the top. But then they get another draw step because they just go like block, block, shadow, shadow, take five. Unless we hit something, which looks like they hit a legion loyalist. So we beat that. Because I last got to land. I will block the goblin guide. I promise. If we get goblin grenaded, maybe they'll firebrand me. Alright, we get the pity 3-2. That's not bad. I'm pretty tired.